Yo, 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 what's up, World of Tanks Blitzers? Welcome back to the club. In this video, I will be talking about the Leopard 1. I bought this tank a few weeks ago, and I'm really so satisfied with this vehicle. A beast in the right hand, if we know how to play with it correctly. That's why I needed some time first to adapt to the playstyle um, of this vehicle, so I know what I'm talking about. And now, after playing some battles, I can um, say now that I, yes, say slowly know how to play with it. That's why I picked up in this video some battles with you to show you how to play with the Leopard 1, the tier 10 medium German tank. It's for me actually nearly a light tank. I don't know why it's classified as a medium tank because we got here, as we can see, a paper armor, only 71.7%. The turret only there, only th this point here, the, uh, the upper side of the turret is well armored. The rest is paper. So uh, we're not going to go and get a closer look to the armor of this vehicle with the armor inspector because we are just penetrable from everywhere. Whatever with tier 9 or 10, even with tier 8, we are really easy to pen. But the turret, if you are lucky there, some shots will, uh, will bounce, but uh, we cannot rely on it really just if you are lucky okay so even while playing held down doesn't make any sense because sometimes even we are held down some shots will go through so play carefully and we're and go i'll show you right now later on the battlefield how to play carefully with this tank and um, yeah the thing is we got here 3700 dpm so this tank is really a monster of dpm it's nearly close to the one of the highest uh, dpm in the game and which is the soviet tank destroyer of course um let's have a look the object 263 got 3.8 dpm and the leopard got 3.7 so that's really uh, very strong and we can deal a lot of damage with this vehicle also also close to 3.8 dpm and um this tank i think will be in the future just one of my favorites even my favorite tier 10 tank even better than the T at T22 medium because we got here higher DPM, better mobility. Uh, of course, not that good armor like the T22 medium, but for that we got great mobility, fast reload time, very accurate gun, and uh, yeah, a lot of damage. So um, let's take a look at the hit points. We got 1,900 hit points. I'm not using enhanced armor because that doesn't make any sense. That's why I'm going for more hit points. We can deal 360 damage per shot, sometimes up to 400, 450, even 500 damage with precision fire. Um, a very fast reload time. Uh, let's take a look how much. 5.73 reload time with adrenaline we can reach up to 4.9 or 5 seconds reload time so really a pure pure machine a fast shooting gun great penetration armor as paper whatever but uh, yeah the most the strength of this tank is its mobility and its dpm so this is really crazy i'm using consumables um the repair kit the multi-purpose kit and the adrenaline. I don't know why we should use the recycle calibration. I mean, we have anyway great accuracy with this gun, great gun dispersion. We can shoot while moving, so uh, yeah, I don't need it. Let's have a look to the gun depression. We can we also look at this, guys. Maximum speed up to 65 km per hour. That's insane. Also, the gun depression, not bad at all, 9 degrees. We can do our job while playing hull down or just, uh, yeah, moving forward to take a shot, sneak a shot, then roll back very fast. Um, yeah, we talked about consumables, provisions I'm using to maximize my speed, improved fuel, and for better, um, for better um, view range and better accuracy and faster reload time, I'm using the chocolate bar and the uh the chocolate and chocolate bar by the way i'm thinking to go for improved gunpowder so it depends on you i go for the chocolate bar because i want to have um better view range to spot for myself and for my team as we know playing with a medium or a light tank we have to spot a lot 
and uh, the damage by assistance is very important to win battles and to get better mastery badges like second first class or mastery badge that's why i go for better view range but it depends on you we can also forgo to the improved gunpowder and with that plus uh, 35 percent shell velocity but I didn't make any experience that I have a problem with a shell velocity while playing with a Leopard 1. That's why I'm not going for um, the powder or for the supercharger. I'm using Gun Roma. Uh, also, I didn't make any penetration problems because we are a medium tank and we can just surround the heavies or the tank destroyers and shoot them from the side or from the back. That's why I just use the Gun Roma. I don't want to go anyway and try to shoot the heavies from the front. That would be pretty stupid and it would be a suicide for me as a medium tank with a paper armor. So I'm using enhanced gun, lying drive, the refined gun, defense system, improved assembly. As I saw you, as I told you, we don't need the enhanced armor. We have anyway paper armor, toolbox, improved optics for better view range so I can spot for me, for myself and for my team and have more damage by assist, assist, assisted damage. Um, yeah, and the high end consumables engine accelerator. So, yeah, enough talking now. Let's go to the battlefield and show you how to play with Leopard 1, the German tier 10 medium tank. How, what can we perform with this vehicle? Let's go. So, in general, we are now in Hellas, but in general, I'm playing with this vehicle like, uh, yeah, spot for me and for my team in the beginning. Play very careful in the beginning try to sneak some shots here and there some long distance sniper shots like this on the 120.b now i'm spotted so i gotta be careful i have to roll back try not to take um, a lot of damage and save my hit points till the end so uh, i still alive till the end and in the end i will be also very decisive thanks to my speed i can be an all-rounder um, and uh, yeah help my team to finish the last uh, living enemy vehicle so this is how I play with this vehicle and I think it's the best way, trust me, because um, if you are going to be spotted and uh, they know where you are, they will rush on you and uh, be careful because uh, especially of the tank destroyers, actually of any tank, because anyone can um, hash this vehicle, can shoot with hash shell and uh, yeah, do a lot of damage because we have just the paper armor, so uh, anyone will spam you with hash shells that's why try always to hide behind obstacles while moving or just wait till you disappear again from their sight then surprise the enemy the enemies again with a fast move like this now i'm rushing on the t54 i know i can deal a lot of damage on him he doesn't have that high dpm like me and i'm seeing that also my teammate was with me the waffenträger so that's why i took the risk and decided to finish it very fast the t54 with that the surprising fast attack so now we are already leading now we are other situation we are outnumbering the enemy team so now is uh, the chance now it's showtime and uh, yeah it's gonna be easier right now 7 v5 than in the beginning so i can take more risk here we go one shot finish the t11 oe4 then the next victim will be the 121b shot him directly from the side and now punch him on his face here we go already two kills and already 2.5 k of damage so we have really a high dpm with this vehicle and uh, yeah i don't know i'm talking i don't know why the, the time is not running but i think we, we have not even two minutes in this battle and i dealt already 2.8 of damage already i wanted to hash the amxp but i i didn't hit him exactly on the right point to deal to deal more damage unlucky shot and here we go he's burning 585 of damage then finish the 50 dp so thanks to, to this fast reload time and uh, to this high dbm that uh, yeah great damage and also correctly played we won this battle very easy four kills second class mastery badge and uh, when i'm playing and preparing for a video i always don't use um credits boosters to see how much credit we can do with each vehicle and here in this situation you know, we got how much damage again 3.7 k of damage and we can win with that damage 46 k of credits really not bad for a t3 tier 10 tank so we can also win a lot of credits if we uh, perform good battles with this vehicle 
the second battle is in Middleburg and we're going to see that um, I will playing also the same play style. I don't know why the BC25T blocking me like this, but whatever. There is sometimes idiots in the game. So let's keep going. I'm going to play the same play style like the first battle and always will be always this same play style. Spot, hide, then surprise them, be the all-rounder. And this is how we can we can pour, perform, how we should play with this tank otherwise we are going to be busted or we are going to lose this battle. So if you want to have a higher win rate, if you want to have a good win rate for this vehicle, you have to play it like this. Maybe there is some battles and some special situations where we are going to play it otherwise not exactly like this, but in general in the 80%, 90% of the battles we have to play this vehicle like this. Very careful, spot, roll back and wait for the perfect uh, moment to surprise your enemies. Don't take a lot of risk in the beginning. Try not to be the main target of the enemies. Always try to, to do those sneaky shots like this, then run away. So uh, yeah, there is, in my opinion, no better way to play this vehicle. Here we go, now I'm surprising the E50M. I'm seeing that he's low HP. I have a fast reload time, I have high DPM, I can finish him. I'm gonna risk some of my hit points to finish this dude punch him in his face again and here we go we finished him and let's keep going the t22 medium is busy with my teammates 450 of damage look at this guys with precision fire and now also is the time maybe to risk um, some hit points and finish the t22 medium but my teammate was faster so now my goal is clear the cran wagon is one shot he's far away but i have the speed no problem i can now go completely to the other side while going to the other side i try to do one shot on the object 140 but he is far away and now I'm going to the other side but I'm also thinking that I don't want to be spotted so um, I will keep my distance finish the crown wagon then finish the AMX 50B here we go then keep going so already three kills uh, we have uh, yeah something like two and a half minutes in this battle already 1.7k of damage three kills and now I'm trying to finish the Lewandowski 60 TP here we go Look at this pre precision, I even could hit that, that fine line of the front armor and my teammate finished the Death Star. 2k of damage, 4 kills, being an all-rounder is the most effective way with this vehicle. And yeah, again, second class mastery bats. I think this time I was using credit boosters, that's why I got a lot of credits this time. 86 of credits with credit boosters. And yeah, I was very effective again, 4 kills for my team, I got my rating points. Yeah, just great, great vehicle. And the last battle in Canal, I'm going here with my team, with the T100 LT and the BC25 medium on light side. Trying to spot again, very important to spot for me and for my team. Damage by assistance, now I'm uh, spotted, that's why I'm rolling back, hiding behind this hill, so I don't take any damage and wait for the right opportunity to deal more damage. Here we go, the grill maybe, nope, he is hiding well. Damage blocked, very lucky. And the FV4202 is pushing on me with the Vikas light. So I gotta say here, here I'm safe somehow, roll back. But of course keep in mind that there is somebody behind me who can hit me from the other side. So I have to stay really here careful. But um, we have to move, we cannot stay here, otherwise they will push on me. So they are now coming all here. I tried to sneak one or two shots before rolling back and uh, trying now to uh, yeah, flank the enemy vehicles because I'm, se I'm seeing that they are all here. We need more help um, and if I will stay here they will just finish me and I, wanna die. I don't want to die for my team because all of them are behind me, even the heavies. I don't know what the other one is doing there. Yeah, the, the WZ113 is completely other side, so I have now to move and uh, yeah, try to flank the enemy vehicles from behind. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going down here and trying to surprise him. That's why I'm trying to, to take more distance uh, so that I'm not going to be spotted if I try to surround the enemy vehicles. But I saw that the Vikas light is chasing me, so let's finish this dude. He don't know that I have a fast reload time, so uh, yeah, let's just finish the Vikas light. He's going for me, my teammates help me, 
and now he's dead. So 2.6k of damage in two minutes. That's really insane. And 1.3k of damage with assistance by spotting the enemy vehicles. Now let's finish the grill. Here we go. Sneaky shot. Boom. He didn't know that uh, that uh, that shot is coming. And now let's surprise the V. K901, so this is how to play with this vehicle. Always try to sneak your shot from distance while the enemy uh, vehicles are busy to deal some damage on your allies. We have a very fast reload time, we can deal a lot of damage and with that support our team to win uh, really a lot of battles. We are really, if correctly played with this vehicle, very effective and very decisive. And yeah, now I was too greedy, I wanted to deal more damage, actually I should wait, roll back, wait till my uh, teammates push with me, and with that, uh, yeah, I maybe could deal more damage in this battle and maybe get my ace tank and mastery badge, but anyway, 4.2k of damage is really not bad at all. And we got here 61 points for raking, so this tank is also, if correctly played, really very, very uh, great for uh, rating battles. 4.2k of damage, 1.3k of damage assisted, that's why it's very important to spot to get your uh, um, second, first or mastery badge. Um, and yeah, 23k of damage this time again without credit boosters and the best player of my team. So yeah guys, that's that's it about this video and about the Leopard 1. Firstly, I'm sure I'm going to do again some videos if I uh, ace finally this tank or if I adapt more to the playstyle with this vehicle. I think I still have to learn more how to play with it, but uh, for the beginning, and. I'm not going to learn more how to play with it, but I have to adapt more to this playstyle so I can improve my skills and uh, I can, uh, yeah, play better and perform better on the battlefield. So this is for sure not going to be the last video about the Leopard 1. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you soon in the next one. I'm going to start, I think, this week my mission to the AMX 50B. I don't have this tank, so the rest of this week I'm not going, I think, to upload more videos, but I'm thinking I'm going to go live and, uh, yeah, like the the Mission Sec CTP. This time would be would, will be live streams and uh, I'm going to share my way with you to get the AMX 50B. I think especially after this tank gets buffed in the last update with the 4 shell in the magazine right now is really worth it to go for this tank and uh, this will be my next tank, the AMX 50B, so uh, I will be happy if you uh, join me to my live stream uh, and I want to share with you my experience, my way to this beast. Of course, I'm going also after that to finish the whole French line and with that I will have all the French tanks in this game, so yeah, really nice. Stay tuned for that and see you soon for sure in the next live stream. Bye bye.